We have here a 2013 Subaru Crosstrek. We need to replace the wheel bearing and the driver's side rear wheel. So we're just gonna end up replacing the whole uh, hub assembly today and we'll go uh, step by step uh, how that happens. So the first one before we get the car off the ground, the 19 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the wheel or loosen up the lug nuts. All right, with the lug nuts free, now we're gonna get it up in the air. All right, so we have it up in the air, we have the wheel off. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is remove the caliper. It's two 14 millimeter bolts on the back side, and uh, I've been breaking the uh, bolts free just to kind of save on time for how long this is uh, gonna be so people can get what they need uh, in a relatively short amount of time. So now I've just got the caliper hidden up there for now. If you have a you know a wire coat hanger, you could hook it somewhere, but uh, I may have to relocate that based on how easy this uh, uh, this wheel hub uh, comes off. All right, next we have the caliper bracket, which is two more uh, 14 miller, millimeter bolts. Uh, you could possibly you know get get away without actually taking the caliper off the bracket, but. Um, I like uh, the extra clearance for uh, for doing this personally, and then it's also less cumbersome to um, to move out of the way because uh, the bracket I can just put on the side somewhere. I don't need to uh, find a space to hide it out of out of trouble. The rotor is going to be able to come off. All 
All right, so now uh, we are left here uh, with the, the hub assembly, um, which is going to be the whole spinning part, the uh, lug studs and all uh, that the wheel attaches to. I can turn it and I can feel it's not really smooth. It's, uh, you know, there's, a, so there's clearly some grinding going on. Uh, they had a shop replace the other side, and, and then this one went out shortly after. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna put something better on on here that's gonna that's gonna last longer. And so we're gonna be replacing this uh, with a Moog uh, hub assembly, and I have this out here just so that you can kind of see uh, where the bolts are behind this. There again, they're 14 millimeter uh, bolts that hold it in there, um, and then we're gonna take. Uh, the axle nut off as well because that is uh, what's holding uh, it in there as well and then uh, if you've gotten this far uh, and you don't have a torque wrench uh, you're going to need to get a torque wrench the torque on an axle nut is going to be extremely important because otherwise uh, when you put the hub back in it's either going to be potentially too tight or too loose and then you're going to have it fail uh, early again so we're quickly under the car on the back side that you can see where the bolts are uh, that you got to take out here. A little light. Two over there. Two over there. Okay, so the four rear bolts and the uh, back of the hub assembly are broken free now. It took a little bit of penetrating oil to get two of them. I actually jacked up the car a little bit higher off the ground so I could get my breaker bar uh, in there. Uh, it was the two uh, that were towards the front of the vehicle that were a little tough. Um, but they're broken free now and now we're going to do uh, the axle nut which is a uh, 32 millimeter axle nut. So we're going to break that free and be right back. Okay, to no surprise, the axle nut was on there pretty good. So what we ended up doing was putting uh, the brake disc back on so that the parking brake inside uh, could be engaged. And uh, it should work a lot of the time, but sometimes uh, parking brakes don't do the greatest job. But um, I actually took it off uh, the jack stands as well. Um, just with the kind of force being put on it, it would have been easy to slip off. Uh, so I gently lowered this down, put things on a, um, on a block of wood to, uh, to protect everything, but it uh, would have been bad. It came off the jack stand, so we took this down when we did that, but as you can see now, this axle nut is loose and off. Last thing I do before I'm going to pull uh, the four bolts up behind is up on top there is this sensor that's held in by a 10 millimeter bolt, pretty simple to take out. Uh, it was a little stuck in there, so under this a little lip here I was able to just get a little flathead screwdriver. We're just going to stick that out of the way because when we're pulling this out uh, we don't want that to get caught on anything and damaged because that's going to uh, that's going to become a big issue for the car. So right now I'm going to pull. Uh, the four bolts out from behind completely and see what we're dealing with. So we have it off. So here's the old one and it was time that uh, you can hear that the bearing's starting to fail by, I, I don't know if, how well you can hear that, but it doesn't feel smooth. Um, this one's much smoother and I don't hear any noise uh, as it spins. Like I said, I'm uh, putting on a Moog and this one I feel it's a much better uh, bearing since he said he's replaced these um, a couple times before um, so yeah so there's the uh, the back side of it um, and just kept this out of the way so that there's hung it up here so that there's no stress um, on that um, I'm going to uh, put some anti -seas. Uh, around here because um, that's going to be a part that sticks uh, whoever did this last time was kind of puts them on there so it actually 
uh, that part came apart very, very easily. So uh, whether it's me or someone else uh, who works on this next and has to replace this, um, I'm going to do the same and make sure that it's uh, going to be easier for them to come apart uh, and not rust shut. Right, so everything's just sitting in place right now. It goes back in the exact same way it did. I put um, the hub into uh, the parking brake assembly. Uh, it's, there's some notches in here that um, it's very carefully fits in there. Uh, and then I was able to slide that uh, back over the axle. You're able to kind of peek in through this side. You can see the bolt holes on both sides. You can make sure that those uh, line up. But uh, with these being the bolts uh, that came out and a couple of them were we're in there pretty good. We're going to uh, anti-seize uh, the threads on, on the bolts as well to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so the rear bolts are on. So this is, this is in there now. Uh, what I actually ended up doing that I found easier um, was I uh, put the uh, bolts in through the back and then I took the parking brake uh, bracket and I slid that on the bolts. And then I actually, and then I put the uh, hub assembly in there. And again, I looked through here, and I could see uh, when we were touching the heads of the bolts. Uh, and then I was able to; it was easier to jiggle around from this way and look from that end and see when the threads uh, caught uh, coming from the back side. So I was able to start all four of them, um, and then go in and uh, you know pattern uh, tighten them down where I snugged them all down. And then I uh, did one, two, three for um, and tightening them down. Uh, so next I'm going to uh, put the uh, uh, brake bracket, uh, rotor, caliper, um, all that back on so that I can uh, reapply the parking brake so I can torque down the axle nut. Okay, so we have our brake hardware back on. Um, also the sensor that we removed, uh, remember to put that back in, uh, just that 10 millimeter bolt. Um, but the uh, bracket to hold the pads is on, the caliper's back on, and now uh, it's time to tor torque down the axle nut. Again, I put some more anti seize on the axle threads and on the nut, in case this has to get done again. Um, but Moog has a three year warranty, um, so I really trust their parts. Um, I haven't really had any go bad on me, so uh, we're going to torque this down to 140 uh, foot pounds. Is uh, the spec on this. And obviously we have the parking breakdown. There's 140. And with that we're uh, we're pretty much done here. Um, that is a is the parking brake. here a uh, new rear wheel hub and a 2013 uh, Subaru brush check. Obviously all that's going to go back on uh, is the wheel. Uh, put it on. Uh, make sure you snug down the uh, lug nuts um, so that everything is flush. And then drop the vehicle and then you'll torque down uh, the lug nuts. But that is uh, how to change a rear wheel hub assembly. Uh, the bearing was bad, but we just replaced the whole hub assembly since it's uh, much easier to do that. So uh, no idea what I'm going to get into next. It's just kind of as they come, but we will see you next time.